Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle. Micro Oil Forge update. Uh, after some development. Um, Alright, what's basically happened, uh, it functioned very nicely with um, it thinned out waste oil in it. Uh, I'd, I'd really like to get it to run on waste oil alone, that way I can dump anything through it and I know it's going to work. Um, <clears throat> problem was, the oil wasn't burning completely so uh, wet oil was hitting the hitting the workpiece and it wasn't red, red hot, it wasn't workable straight underneath the burner so I'd end up with a with a, two red bits and a, you know, a dull piece in the middle that was not, not workable. I want the whole thing um, razor red, hot to trot, ready to rock. Um, so I, I'll just grab the camera. Yeah, very quickly. Uh, originally, I had the air and oil meat in the in the burner itself. Here's the old burner. Ta -da! Um, well used, as you can see. I've had this running right four or five times now. Um, actually done some reasonably useful work with it okay so um, at this with that burner still I, I got a bit of steel brake line and tried getting a bit of heat into the oil at the end of the forge there uh, just to see what would happen um, it worked nice for a little bit and uh, but you know as anyone would predict um, the oil got hotter the well, come on work um, it started pumping more oil out as it was a little bit runnier and the flame got bigger, the pipe got hotter, all the solder let go not good enough so what I tried next was um, metering the oil, mixing it with the air and then putting the metered oil and air around the heat source and just a bit of pipe going through the top uh, you can see I also cut some, cut some air inlets on the side there that did help a little bit, um, but because this piece of pipe isn't really pointing in the right direction, oil's hitting the side of the pipe, and I'm getting right, stalactites inside. Um, they were worse, but I knocked them off, uh, resulting in a poor burn again and wet oil hitting the workpiece. So uh, tonight's tonight's plan is to to make a, a much better burner up. Um, no solder, obviously, because it's going to be hot the air and oil is going to be hot by the time it gets there and and what um, much much larger air inlets um, and I'm going to try and achieve it yeah, Rambo's looking for looking for rats in the workshop get the rats, ratty rats, Rambo um, well yeah uh, a nice nice spray out the nozzle and a lot more air basically stay tuned Right, uh, where I'm at the minute, um, here's this lumber hex. Uh, there's a there's a step in there, if you can see it. Um, that step sits on the, the outside of the pipe. Um, that hole there is going to take a M12 bolt uh, with the, with the pipe running inside the bolt, and I'll machine the the nozzle the, the yeah the nozzle tip onto the end of the bolt. Reason for this, uh, A, it's going to be a lot easier to make a nice pointy nozzle on the end of a bolt than it would be to, to produce it inside there. But also, um, I'm going to cut the cut the air inlets, drill, drill air inlets on each of these six sides. And I've got no idea um, where the nozzle wants to be in relation to those air inlets. So um, I'm hoping the, the air and oil, when they're going through the nozzle, are going to pull, pull air in from the outside. Um, should work like a Bunsen burner, I suppose. Um, but uh, if I if I can wind this further up the bolt, then I can I can alter the um, the position of the nozzle in relation to the air openings. Yep.
Right, I'm just going to get rid of the excess material basically now. Um, something I've learnt through buggering up a lot of nearly finished uh, work pieces. Um, right, I've got a thin wall now. Um, I'm going to stick a bolt in there, otherwise if, um, if I jam a roughing bit into this thing too hard, uh, the wall's going to collapse and the whole thing's going to get spat out the lathe. Snap my snap my tool and um, bugger up the workpiece, but with a with a bit of thread in the back there, it can't collapse. Okay, uh, this is where we're at. Um, I don't know, but I suppose that's the burner. Um, M12 air inlets. And a bit of a step there, a bit of a, sh a shoulder, sit, sit on the pipe. Um, this is the the jet. Can you still call it a jet if it's got a, a big fucking uh, one and a half mil that holds? Anyway, the idea is I can adjust it. And let me see if it's actually on the camera. Um, yeah, I can adjust the nozzle. Oh. Uh, see there the nozzles nozzles going up past the hole there down again up again um, in relation to the air holes so because um, obviously I don't want the oil and air coming out of these holes as it did a little bit uh, before um, yeah but we also want the um, the air coming out of this nozzle to put as much air in through these holes as possible so we get a complete burn. Um, I'm just going to st stick the right, boy. Um, stick the pipe in there, put a, put a set screw through the side of the bolt head to hold the pipe in place. I'm going to have to use gunk to, to set the pipe in there. Um, then we'll fire it up and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Uh... Oh, you can't see it. Eh, the light's crap. Anyway, um, it's almost, almost in danger of looking, looking reasonably professional here. Uh, oh, um, yeah, that's it. Done. I'm gonna take it outside, find the dirtiest, shittiest oil I can, and uh, fire it up. See what happens.
up for a bit, eh? Had a complete and utter disaster. Um, I think the, uh, the jet got blocked, so I can't figure out whether it's sold that blocked it or a piece of debris from the oil. Uh, pulled the pipe off, tried cleaning it out with a very small drill bit, and I've now snapped off the very small drill bit inside the jet. Uh, not the jet, the, the metering on this for the oil. So that's probably it for tonight. Um, I'm going to have to make something else up and uh, get back to you when it's working again. Eh? It's quite.